Welcome back to another segment of Shutter Saturday. This review is going up kind of late, so I'm going to keep this pretty short, so let's go. So while surfing on the Shutter channel recently, about a few weeks ago, I stumbled upon this movie. However, did not get a chance to watch this movie till earlier this week. And while checking the trailer out to this movie, I was kind of sold on the fact that it looks like an all-female version of the movie Misery. So I went to check it out. Are you gonna let me go? I don't think so. However, while watching this movie, I found myself chuckling a lot. Probably more than I was supposed to. And I was kind of thinking like, hey, maybe this movie just came off as funny on accident. And like I said earlier, this movie is definitely like a modern take on the movie Misery. There's someone that's obsessed with another person and they basically kidnap them. And in this case, this is an all-female cast. So our antagonist, which is Linda, kidnaps this other girl named Michelle. And I was like, why am I laughing through this movie? Why is there so much quirkiness that I am noticing and that I'm picking up on? I'm going to do a quick comparison on our main antagonist, which is Linda, played by Precious Chong. A comparison to this character I'm going to be describing is she reminds me of an older version of Michelle from Romy Michelle's High School Reunion. Michelle was Lisa Kudrow's character in that movie. There are times in this movie where Linda definitely comes off crazy, but when she's giving you the crazy eye, she's also making some funny faces in this movie. And I was kind of thinking like, this has to be done on accident. This can't be done on purpose. Plenty of times during this movie, I was chuckling and I was like thinking to myself, it was already too late. I already had Romy and Michelle planted in my brain. I was like, this is Lisa Kudrow's character after her and Romy split up and she's gone crazy and she's found someone else to replace Romy. There was plenty of times in this movie where I was just laughing and I was like, I can't be the only sick person laughing at this. So 40 minutes into this movie, I was thinking of this more as a comedy group because Linda is a very quirky and silly character. She does a lot of facial expression. She's very animated. While Michelle is the one that's being abducted, she's the one that's playing the character very straight. Obviously, she's very scared, so she's not really doing much as far as anything other than being scared and very calm. Uh, the two are very playing off each other very well. At the end of the day, this movie is about someone being kidnapped and taken hostage against their will. You're trying to figure out what is the motivation between these two characters. Why is Linda kidnapping Michelle? What's the motivation behind it? Is there any motivation? Is this all at random? Is this just someone obsessed with somebody else because of their success? Or is this something else? Is there some kind of past thing going on that we don't know about that took place off, off camera? I don't know, but we do get some resolve at the end of the movie and it is pretty interesting. At the end of the movie, there are some good plot twists. There's some great payoff at the end of the movie. However, at the end of the movie, I found myself still laughing. I was like, this, as scary as this movie is, as scary as the concept is, it had a lot of funny stuff. Even at the ending, as dark and twisted as it was, it still had a lot of funny moments in this movie. And not towards the end of the movie, not till I saw the credits and it all made sense in my head, it was written and starred Precious Chong. Precious Chong is daughter of Tommy Chong. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The writer of this movie and the star of this movie is the daughter of legendary Tommy Chong. Tommy Chong of Cheech and Chong. Also, she's also the daughter of Shelly Chong, which is Tommy Chong's wife, who's also an established comedian as well. So I thought to myself, this movie was made funny on purpose and she did a very good job of it. This movie was done very well, and this movie is very entertaining. If you wanna make this a double feature, check out Romy Michelle's High School Reunion right before you check out this movie, Homewrecker, on the Shutter Channel. Hopefully you like what you see here. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I'm Mike the Movie Misfit, and I'll see you at the movies. Get more out of life. Go out to a movie.